Hey guys and welcome back to the United Star. Uh, today we're going to talk about a rather controversial topic that's been doing the rounds uh, in the world recently and something that touches us and we wanted to address. Uh, we're going to talk about racism and in specific uh, we would like to express how sad we feel and, and how disgusted we are with the George Floyd situation. And I have Prashant with me out here and we're, he's just going to shed light about how footballers in the Bundesliga are supporting this movement and how racism has always been part of football and something that we need to uh, look into. So, Prashant, it's all yours. Yeah, I think everyone is very, very disappointed right now with what's happening in America and it, it opens an important topic that we all need to be aware of and uh, raise our voice again. And I think racism has absolutely no place in football, be it uh, you cannot label anymore the small section of ultras that do it in Italy or a small section of fans that do it in England or a small section of fans that do it in the Bundesliga or even if it's in the MLS. It has absolutely no place and it has to be a zero tolerance policy from every single association and from the UEFA and from FIFA and we cannot, cannot allow it. It has no place in 21st century in daily life and it definitely has no place in football. Football is something that brings us together and it is, shouldn't be something that divides us and it shouldn't be something that sets people apart. It should be something that brings people together. It should be something that makes us fall in love with the game, makes us fall in love with the players. It doesn't matter where they come from, what they are and it's just the beauty of the game that we need to enjoy and the, the stand that players in the Bundesliga have taken, the players in the Premier League have taken in the past I think it's impeccable and it's remarkable what Sancho did, what Suram did, what some of the Premier League clubs have done in training. But it is just mere symbolism until the associations take some action and it's time that they do that. Because football allows people an opportunity to express themselves. It allows people an opportunity to build something of themselves. It allows them to get away from daily life and there's absolutely no place for racism. And there's, it has to be a zero tolerance policy going on from now. And it has to stop. There is no way we can allow it in any way, shape or form. And there has to be strict actions. You duck points if you have to against the clubs. You ban the fans for life. That's a no-brainer. And you and players who indulge in racist actions should never be allowed to play the game again. And it has, like I said, it has no place in the world. But in football, more so, it does not have any place. It's absolutely. And the only way we move forward together is we put a stop to this and anyone who says anything other than that there is just some passionate fans cheering there is a line and you cannot cross it and there's no there's no reason to there's no re reason to racially slur anybody and that is not passion that is just insanity and there is no place oh, so guys that's what Prasham has to say we, we really don't want to get into this topic in detail because uh, we can see the protests that are taking place in America. We can see the impact it's having on each and every individual in the world. And all I'd like to say is there's a video I saw recently uh, done by Hassan Minaj about how we as Asians, as Prasham and I both are from India, uh, cannot say that we're not black, so we're not going to fight against this. I think it's a time for everyone to come out. that All YouTube creators, Logan Paul has finally come out and spoken about the white privilege. So it's time for everyone to come together and fight against this cause. Football's doing it, guys. It's time for us to take a stand. Uh, I hope, and I think in recent news, the four policemen have been put behind bars for the George Floyd situation. And I hope this is the last time we're seeing racism. And... Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, th this is a sad video. We're sorry about it. But we'll be back. And We must have a zero tolerance policy and we must, we must as, a, as a footballing community, take a stand against it, no matter where we come from. Completely agree with Vishesh. And it's a very important video for people to understand that football is more than a sport and we need to make sure it is that in every aspect of life. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Prashant. Black lives matter at the end of the day. It doesn't matter whether you're, you're white or you're black or you're a human being. And that's how I'd like to end it, guys. See you next time.